Good morning, YouTube. Hi, remember me? My name is Karen Randazzo. I talk all about NGSS and how to incorporate student choice into the classroom. I know it's been a really long time. I hope you had a wonderful summer and truth be told, I just needed a break from last year. It was a lot of work daily. I needed to take some time for myself and so I had the summer to do that. I've also been working on some really exciting projects. I'll be spending some time today getting you guys up to speed but then also I am heading into school today and I have some really exciting news to share with you there as well. So I'm gonna go and teach some professional development. I actually have a class that I'm teaching for the Somerset County Professional Development Network. I'll be teaching all about how to incorporate phenomena into the classroom during remote learning. So that's about an hour class. And then I am going to be heading into school. So evidently this is my desk, right where I left it, but oh my goodness, I certainly didn't leave it like this. Um, so I just got into school and I'm putting my stuff down. Like, look at this mess. Um, I need to clean this up and I accidentally forgot my tripod at home. So I'm gonna be getting a lot of uh, arm workouts here, but I am going to clean this up really quick and then hopefully talk to you guys and fill you in about what's been going on. So that was a lot. Um, so I wanted to make a point to sit down and tell you guys what has been going on. So last year I was given the opportunity in June to create some professional development courses for teachers. And I jumped at the chance. For any of you that watch my channel, you might know Bethany Lau. She uh, is the brain behind science, with, science and math with Mrs. Lau. She's an amazing teacher author. She's her doodle, her doodle notes are just absolutely incredible. Um, I think she calls them doodle diagrams, but they are off the hook amazing. So I jumped at the chance to do that. I created two courses, one on assessment strategies for remote learning and one on digital interactive notebooks. Bethany has a great course on the blended classroom, so you should check that out. And you can also do assessment strategies and the blended classroom as a bundle. It was awesome being able to create the courses and then collaborate with the teachers. There's an exclusive Facebook group, so I've been spending a lot of time in the Facebook group responding to questions and posting discussions, and it's just been an amazing community of teachers that are just so incredibly dedicated and want their students to be successful in this type of learning environment. So that was pretty much all of June and all of July. At the end of June, I found out two major things. Number one, I will be teaching AP Chemistry. At the time, I was told I would be teaching one section of AP Chemistry and the rest would be college prep. And then I also found out that I would be getting my own classroom. So I am not a CART teacher anymore. It's so nice to not have that sense of urgency to constantly have to like move all your stuff and, and get out of the room quickly. So I'm really excited to finally be able to just like relax and like teach my classes and not have to worry about all of that. That's a really good thing and that I thought was really good in light of the fact that I would be teaching AP. I definitely don't want to be teaching AP from a cart. So then if you speed up to August, I uh, found out due to a retirement that I would be teaching all sections of AP Chemistry. So I was like, wow, that's a shock to go from one to three is a lot. I'm very excited, but for those of you that are AP teachers out there, you know that if you're an AP teacher, chances are you're the only AP teacher for that content area. And one of the things that I really like about being a teacher is that you can collaborate. And so it would have been nice to be able to have that knowledge and skill handy. That way I can, you know, talk about things that I want to do and just 
do better with teaching this class, especially in light of the pandemic and you know how I need to teach. I'm a little apprehensive and nervous. At the same time, I'm also kind of like, okay, so I can like do what I want. I can teach the class how I want. And so, you know, I kind of am excited, but I'm also nervous. So that happened. And then uh, we originally found out at school that we were gonna be doing a hybrid um, model. So initially we were doing hybrid, but then we found out that we're actually going to be going into virtual to the end of September and then starting hybrid in October. So um, that was a little bit of a shock too. And, and in some ways I'm kind of glad that I didn't start doing any serious planning because I would have definitely had to change everything that I'm doing. For the first month of school, we'll be doing um, completely virtual. I'll be teaching in my classroom, which I'm very, very, very happy about. I did not like teaching from home. Just, I don't know, it's really distracting and I just didn't enjoy it. And in some ways, I feel like my home is my personal space and I didn't really feel comfortable like having my students look inside my home. Um, so whatever. I mean, I'm glad it worked out this way. And I don't know, you guys might not agree with me, but I, I think teaching from home, you know, it just the routine is like all kind of messed up. It's just nice to get up and go. And like when I'm at home, I felt like I was working all the time because my work was always there with me. That's one of the good things. I am grateful that I get to go into school and, you know, I could do fun stuff like demos and, you know, I just feel better about things. Now I'm really been coming into school and very slowly like modifying my classroom a little bit. Um, I'll have to show you before and after pictures because I actually didn't take video because I was just trying to get stuff done. But um, I've uh, done some painting and I was able to um, just clean up a lot of the mess and get rid of some furniture that really, you know, shouldn't be in there. So I just want to be able to maximize social distancing for my kids and have my kids be safe, assuming that I see them. And that's why I've kind of been going slow with moving my classroom around and changing things and whatnot so I decided to just do a little bit at a time and so now I'm in my office area I'm gonna do some recommendation letters and then I'll head into my classroom and just do some more cleaning and stuff project time so over the summer when I knew I was getting my own classroom I had this vision last year I started to incorporate themes for every day and one of my favorite favorite themes on Tuesday was Tenacious Tuesday where I featured a scientist that has overcome adversity in some way and I wanted to um, incorporate some of that into my classroom and so what I decided to do was I purchased these frames obviously they came with glass and whatnot but I purchased them there they came in this black color this came right from Dollar Tree um, and then I painted them using these neon acrylic paints from Michaels and I distressed them just by using some sandpaper and then what I did is I um, looked for scientists that I've featured last year so this is for example Percy Julian this is Betty Green uh, this is Marie Maynard Daly and then I thought this was really cool from the Solvay con uh, uh, conference with all these scientists because look at her there's that queen so I thought these would be really cool to include in my classroom so I'm just printing them on regular paper and then like just check it out look at how nice it looks right doesn't look awesome and then this QR code is going to um, take the kids to a little bit about their lives and um, just give them some information about um, the scientist and basically what they're famous for. So I'm going to hang all of these all around my brand new classroom. So I'm in my new classroom. I'm taking a break from writing letters or recommendation and finishing those picture frames with the scientists. And I just thought I would come into my classroom and just kind of show you what I have. Um, so when I was getting ready to paint, just so you, to give you some idea, that entire wall, that whole wall was green, the whole thing. Um, you can even see, like, if you look close here, wait, let's look. If you look really close, you can see there's a whole bunch of green paint, like all like in here. So I actually have to come in with a scraper and like scrape them because I hate the way that looks, but I just chose like a, like a gray, you know, to paint everything. And I think it looks like way better. It's so much brighter. Um, I put uh, up some plants because I wanted to have some nice plants in the classroom. Again, this is all hoping that my kids will be in class with me. I really hope. Um, 
but uh, there's still a lot that I need to do and a lot that needs to be cleaned up. I don't think the former teacher that was in this room has actually been in to clean anything. So I've just been kind of like taking stuff out of cabinets and moving stuff just to um, make the process of moving a little bit easier. But I imagine next week is when that's all going to happen because the um, next week I have three days, right? Because it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, so I have three days of professional development, and then I'll get to see my kids. Well, and I say see that loosely. Um, I'll get to see them on, uh, I guess, Friday. So I'll be able to meet them, and we'll have an, a completely virtual day on Friday. And, yeah, so, um, so that's the plan. Still a lot of work to do, but I thought I would just show you the progress. Okay, well, I think that's it for me. I'm going to head out. I'm going to clean up my desk and then um, go home and hopefully relax. Enjoy my last few days of freedom before the craziness of school starts. I love school, so I'm excited to go back. I miss teaching and kids and chemistry and all that good stuff. I think that I'm in good shape for the most part. Next week, I'll just be coming in and doing my professional development and cleaning up whatever I have to clean up and probably helping the other teacher move out of the classroom. But for right now, I've made a pretty good dent. I'm feeling pretty confident. So I hope you and your school year is off to an amazing start if you're already in school. If you're in New Jersey and you haven't started yet, um, I hope you're having many nights that you're able to sleep and not having those horrible teacher nightmares. As always, I love listening to your comments. If there's things that you want to see on my channel this year, things you want me to vlog about, talk about, share things, you know, please feel free to put those comments below. I am so grateful to be here with you guys. Thank you for coming here to watch this YouTube channel for some inspiration and I very much look forward to talking to you guys next week.